think uh, when I think of Dhoni, I think captaincy first before I think anything. Pretty much every Indian captain has been a favorite of mine as captain until somebody else came along and then I transferred my allegiance. So uh, I thought Pataudi was a, a, an amazing captain, uh, principally because of the example he set with his own courage. Imagine losing your eye at the age of 21, having to reinvent your batting action and still being a tigerish fielder in the covers and a courageous uh, batsman against the best the world had to offer. Then, of course, um, uh, Wadekar, because he won us two series we'd never won before against the West Indies in England. Uh, then, briefly, Venkat was captain. Uh, he was leading a kind of uh, evolving side. Uh, I had I had uh, uh, no envy for that. I liked Venkat's bowling very much and his uh, guts as a lower order batsman, so I supported Venkat. Gavaskar, I'm a huge fan of his batting. I was less a fan of his captaincy. Um, because he was too cautious, in my view, as a captain. He drew a few matches that he could have won. He could have gone for a victory. But if you look at the scorecards of the Gavaskar era, there were too many matches drawn where India was in a considerable advantage, but he would not believe in risk-taking declarations or anything like that. Uh, but still, I, I personally, there is no Indian batsman I've ever admired more than I've admired Gavaskar. How much he showed us of what was possible for an Indian to do. Uh, then when you come into the 90s, Bedi. I like Bedi very much as a person. I've got to know him since as well. Uh, he's a terrific character, but he may have been perhaps too temperamental as a captain, uh, but somebody who had tremendous qualities. And then you come to the 90s. I thought Tendulkar was the best possible captain of India before he became captain. Because when he was not captain, he was so active. He was feeling in the slips, running up to the captain of the day, giving advice, giving encouragement, patting the bowlers on the back, giving them. And he was not captain. So I said, let's make this guy captain because he really, he really is there, you know, in every way. When he became captain, didn't work out. He he had a, a not terribly strong Indian team in his years of captaincy, but he also uh, himself, I think, would admit that he was not the most inspirational, motivational captain, partially because he had his own batting to think about. And in the end, he happily gave up the captaincy and refused to take it back when it was offered again later. And um, and if you like uh, Ganguly because of his extraordinary fearlessness and courage and confidence, uh, had a particular brand of captaincy. Uh, Dravid, very cerebral. Uh, Kumble, uh, very knowledgeable. But Dhoni probably would be the one who would win my... Uh, if you had to oblige me to pick one person, Dhoni, because of the way in which he simply grew into the role and filled it. I mean, you know, um, when Dhoni was captain of India, especially after his first exciting year when he won the T20 World Cup and so on and settled into the role after that. All, the word captaincy almost became synonymous with Mahindra Singh. You could see that the rest of the team looked up to him in every conceivable respect as a player, as a leader, as a tactician, as a figure who inspired them, as somebody who led them, as somebody who never lost his head, always very calm and cool captain. Now with Virat Kohli, we have a very different kind of captain. So he would, he will not be a Dhoni in the way Dhoni was. But he has some things that um, I really do admire that were different from Dhoni. For example, the fact that he's always there. I mean, Dhoni sometimes came across as too laid back. Particularly in test matches, you got the sense yeah. that Dhoni wasn't driving the action as much as he effectively did in one day matches uh, as captain. He was letting things drift a bit. Whereas Kohli will never let anything drift. The guy's on the ball. He's bundle of energy. He's running after every catch and sometimes we've lost catches because he needlessly tried to take a catch and somebody was in a better position to take. But that shows you his commitment. That shows you his level of energy. Um, and, and he gives 100%. He gives it with tremendous verve. Uh, as a batsman, I think currently, in my mind, he is the best batsman in the world in all three formats. So, he has all of these things. Dhoni was never the best in that sense. He was not the best uh, wicketkeeper. He was not the best batsman. He had great qualities in both quality, in both, both domains. Similarly, he had some amazing innovations as a keeper, particularly standing up. He had those very clever stumpings and runouts where he wouldn't even look at the stumps, get the ball and knock it in one move with his yeah. glove right, right onto the All of those were fantastic. You know, those were great things. But I have no doubt that he was the best captain in the world uh, uh, for the team that he led. And that uh, is something that um, uh, I think uh, when I think of Dhoni, I think captaincy first before I think anything.